Salutations, kindred spirits. Welcome back to another weekly Wednesday magic lesson. We're doing coin tricks again, yet more coin tricks after last week's lesson on Paul Harris and PDQ coins across, which you can look at over here. I uh, got some good reception. I thought maybe I, I dove into the deep end a little bit. There's a couple techniques that are, are challenging in that routine. And today we're gonna use some simpler versions of those techniques and a trick that I'm very excited to share. It's one I've been doing for over 37 years. I know that some of you today are gonna learn this coin trick and be doing it for the rest of your life. So congratulations as we take a look at Daryl's body coins. Uh, maybe not the best trick for video, but imagine this live as I squeeze and one of the, one of the coins travels up my body to my elbow. That's the elbow coin. Here comes number two, a little bit higher, all the way up, right to the armpit. That's the armpit coin. And the last one, all the way in, into the skin. We'll leave it right by the neck. That's the neck coin. That's all three. And that's that. Hey, not bad for an impromptu coin trick. That's any three coins. This works well with quarters or half dollars, or a dollar, whatever you like to use, you're ready to go. And uh, let's get started first and foremost with a repeat credit to Daryl, uh, the magician's magician, Daryl Martinez, Daryl Easton. Uh, rest in peace, he left us way too soon a couple years ago. But wow, a bigger inspiration, uh, I can't uh, r recall. I, I, do, I clearly recall, let me rephrase that. I clearly recall seeing Daryl's lecture at Haynes House of Cards, a wonderful magic shop in Cincinnati, Ohio. If you're near them, go support a Haynes House of Cards. A lot of love from there from my teenage years, including that Daryl lecture where I saw him do this uh, coin trick. A note, a note on the method, and I changed this method, and uh, it's one of the reasons I'm offering it here. Uh, Daryl opted for a move called the pop-up move, which you like put coins on the top of your hand one at a time. And through this technique, he gets one ahead. I don't really care for this move because it's not a very natural thing. It's, it is deceptive. And I think in the venues, Daryl was working, performing more of a stand-up situation uh, where you want to display the coins, say, to a group. This technique is maybe preferable. So don't discount this technique. But for my uses, a little more intimate close-up situations, uh, I'm going to tell you how I handle it. All right. Uh, the trick begins by secretly holding back one of a group. Hey, I'm going to refer you to Paul Harris' lesson. We discussed this last week. As you pick up the three coins, you can push one to your fingertips of the second and third finger. And as you uh, revolve your hand palm up, you can place that coin right into palm position and do that. Palm it as you apparently toss the uh, three coins into the left hand. You hold back one. So only one. Only two of the three go, one is held back. The, uh, there are options here, and I'll use other options. Kind of depends on the pacing. But note, I'll, I'll often put this sequence in the middle of a multi-coin routine, so if I'm not doing this impromptu, sometimes other techniques fit better, and you might consider a clink pass. A clink pass makes it sound like you put two coins in your hand when you're putting them in one at a time. So there's one, there's two but it's only one, I'm holding one back. I'm not gonna get into the details here, but if you know the clink pass, uh, maybe consider that, and maybe we'll discuss the clink pass another day. All right, so there we go. We're one ahead to begin the trick, and then we wanna uh, start using our misdirection as you implement the magic. A uh, note, before phase one, we gotta get these coins set. A little preset in this position, separated in your hand. This is going to be, be in preparation for the Hang Ping Chin move, the Hang Ping Chin, which we also talked about last week. So, hey, we're building. See how this works? And a lot of you are going to find this trick more attainable, so stick with me. All right, so where are we? We're one ahead here. This hand jiggles a little bit. As it does, the pinky and, and uh, fourth, third finger apply pressure on this uppermost coin. And as your hand turns over, that's what allows these two coins to separate inside the closed fist. The hand is uh, held vertical. That's so you can be ready to drop one coin out from the lower portion. That's going to happen after we do this. Make your uh, gaze, uh, uh, draw the gaze to the elbow. So make your attention to the elbow, draw your attention here, 
As you reach for the elbow, this coin's going to drop either the finger palm or fingertip rest, and you produce that coin from the elbow. As you do so, this hand will naturally travel behind the neck, and the upper two fingers and thumb secretly place this uh, coin on the neck. And again, that is done as you draw attention and then produce the coin. So now we have this coin in the hand ready for Hang Ping Chin. This coin gets gently tossed into a classic palm. You can use finger palm, you probably use thumb palm. Uh, I like classic, so I do classic. As I turn the hand down, this coin drops out of the hand as the left hand moves leftward. Everything kind of goes left here. That's the Hang Ping Chin, so Hang Ping Chin. And now we're basically done. We're two coins ahead. Wow, what a great place to be in. This coin secretly palm, that's gonna come from the armpit, and I got this one hidden on my neck. So uh, here we go. Just, all you gotta do is affect the magic, imply that the second one has traveled up to the armpit, and uh, build the suspense for number three. Cleanly show the hands, reach behind your neck. That's all three. And that is elbow, knee, and neck, Daryl's body coins. If you want a reference on this, I could point you to a Stephen Minch book titled Spectacle. This is a compilation of many magicians' material, and it's worth your attention, if nothing else, just for that routine. And with that information, I think you're all set. Once again, thank you, Daryl, and hey, thank you all for spending a little time with me. I always appreciate that, your attention, your energy. Uh, thank you. That's all for now. See you on the next clip.